Right, we've just had to dash off quickly because a call's come through that we've been waiting for all week. We're going out to interview a couple of ex-poachers and it's all got to be done a little bit hush-hush because um, they do a lot of undercover work around here. Despite the risk, Bebab has persuaded them to talk to me. Bebab relies on intelligence from informants in his efforts to combat wildlife crime and has often put his own life in danger in the process. They come to Kurisile. These guys told me that poachers come from outside the area and recruit locals like them to help track the rhino. They were involved in poaching for 15 years, despite knowing they could be killed at any time. They made decent money, but nothing compared with what the horn eventually sold for. Now they risk their lives in an effort to foil poachers by keeping tabs on illegal activity around the park. I suppose everything has a price, but what's it worth to keep one of the oldest living mammals on the planet alive? Surely, the survival of a species is worth more than cash. Hello. Can we just have a few of those, please? And a few of these? Get deep. OK. And, and a little bit of this, please. Oh. The people who risk their lives to kill the rhino obviously do it for the money. But I'm starting to realise they're a long way down the supply and demand chain. Somebody somewhere is making a lot of cash out of rhino horn, and it's certainly not the locals. Now, to give you some sort of idea, if this was powdered rhino horn, this would be worth roughly about 40 quid. And a forest guard earns a lot less than that a week. <laughs> 